Hi, this is Rob with Silicon Valley Rockstars. And I'm talking to Steve Austin, the founder and CEO of eMobi. Steve, how's it going today? Man, it's great to be here. It's exciting. Okay. Uh, Steve, tell us a little bit about your background as an entrepreneur. Rob, I came to Silicon Valley 20 years ago as a background in chemistry and business, got a job in semiconductor business, and I traveled all over and had a great time learning about Silicon Valley and working with everybody, and I've been here ever since. And it's, the pace is exciting and the innovation's fantastic. We're applying all that now to our new products with the mobile and uh, personal power platform. Tell us a little bit about eMobi and what are the prospects for your startup? Well, the prospects are fantastic on that as well because we're making a personal power product that's connected uh, via mobile, allows everyone to power their digital products, their tablets, iPhones, digital lights. It would have been fantastic last week with the New York storm. And so that's uh, the next step of uh, enabling people to move, be global, be mobile. It's the power of them. That's exciting. What kind of personal sacrifices have you had to make as an entrepreneur? Oh, personal sacrifices, I'd say. Well, for one thing, I wouldn't do it if it wasn't fun and thrilling, but sometimes the days are always long, and there's not enough staff. There's no corporate staff to do it. If you're an entrepreneur startup, it's you and your buddies. You start early and work late. Uh, so you give up some personal time, so you really got to do what you like so that you enjoy being here, and then it's not the burden. Then it's fun. They say that failure in Silicon Valley is acceptable. Have you failed, and what have you learned from failure? Okay, in this valley, I think all products end up with numerous revisions and uh, add-ons and things that go wrong and things that need to get fixed. It's all part of inventing quickly. So I would say lots of failures. And the job here is to take the failure, turn it into, learn from it, and do something right with it immediately, and then uh, extend that or stop it if it doesn't work. So here we need to learn from our mistakes quickly and turn it around. But that's part of the, the model, and we've got smart guys around pushing it, so it's good. Okay. I run into a lot of entrepreneurs in Silicon Valley on a daily basis, and many of them have this mindset that they need funding, and funding sounds like it's the end-all, be-all for them in the process of entrepreneurship. What do you think of that mindset? Uh, funding's important, but now the uh, barrier to entry is pretty low. So uh, investors expect you to get your product going and get some traction. Do the first part yourself. So the funding is not the first part. The, the product and some traction, some acceptance is the first part. And after you get some uh, market social proof, as we say, uh, some traction, then the next step is to look at some funding. So, and that's, even that is a step to the next thing, which is to grow. So it's not the end all, it's just one of the multiple steps. Currently there's a global phenomenon. Entrepreneurship is sweeping the world seems like everybody wants to become an entrepreneur and mm -hmm. thinks they can become a successful entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. What do you think of this situation? I think it's probably the best thing that's happened uh, around the world because a lot of, you know, there's unemployment in many places that's too high and governments are tapped out. There's no more capacity for them. The solution is entrepreneurs and that's why there's a lot of support for entrepreneurs now because they're the ones that are close to the action and can provide the next job. So entrepreneurship, we're all for it. Steve, what advice would you have for an entrepreneur who's starting out today? Do what you like. Get involved with the part of the business that you really enjoy because you're going to be in it night and day. So do what you like. That's great advice. We've been talking to Steve Austin, the co-founder and CEO of eMobi. That's Steve Austin, a.k.a. the $6 million man, Thanks, the world's Rob. first bionic man. Thanks, Thanks for so talking much. to us today, Steve. Hey, okay, bye-bye. Good seeing you.